All right, Ema, come on down. Come on down. Well, it started way, way back when um, Dana, who created my website, shared your website with me and said, I think you might like this. And it just, just instantaneous in that moment of yes. It was the ooh. And then it's just like Fleur says, divine timing. <laughs> it just takes time. Um, but what I've learned from that is as a participant in your community, that um, the searching happens. So it's like tiny course or responding or whatever. And then that's the work. So this tiny course, that tiny course, this tiny course. And that's what happened. Did a lot of the groundwork. And then the tea, the tea room really felt like very, very true, but it wasn't the moment and then it still wasn't the moment and still wasn't the moment and then when you shifted from not having calls every week that was just opened up a possibility of right right this is possible this is simpler this is easier to commit to and so then it was just the perfect time for that um and also one of the like i came in with the focus of the tiny course but I also came in with the intention of meeting people from the world. And so that's also what's been great is, you know, Australia and beyond. And so I've loved that the other, the sessions are recorded and then it's a limited time, which is also great because then it puts the requirement to listen rather than go, I'll do it next week, I'll do it next week. To, to hear another perspective from the other group, even though you're not directly involved and but the capacity for virtual coppers all of that just there's just multiple multiple layers which has been great so the the really the ahas for me has been a the distinction between the spontaneous expression as a generator and then the responding to something in reality someone something and getting the feel of it each of those places and the purpose of them and being purposeful about that. And then it's not either or, it's both and. So that has been really very, a foundational shift in how being in conversation is even run. Um, and so the, the writing practice from the l and just that simple write as you talk, <laughs> that's been very, very valuable and freeing. Um, to not speak the Queen's English, uh, write the Queen's English, and, um, and also foundational in building into the systems, the intel. So why are you signing up or why are you joining this program? Getting very clear. So then you've got that to respond to. And so that's now built in to everything that I'm doing by myself or with Sue. That's just not how we roll. And we're, that's how we roll in terms of like weekly check-ins. And so it's, it's really been very valuable. And then in, in seasonal planning, uh, quite a few people now who are seasonal planners. And so now we can connect at that level of, oh, it's that time again. So it's, it's the communion, the community of that. That's been great. And then the final piece, which will continue as a project for next time is the discoverability about the real estate, the top line, the opening, like how would they say it? So I can keep writing just as me, but before it becomes public, just that switch into would they say that? How would they say that? That that's been really the very core ahas. So how has that changed? And I I really have sort of relaxed into it. Now it's making art, fun, um, don't sweat the small stuff. And that Fleur was talking about divine timing. That is, I'm hearing myself say that divine timing, divine timing. And my clients are saying back to me about divine timing. And that's really coming in and whatever shows up, that's what it is. That That's... The, the biggest shift is going to be literally the great unknown. 
Um, so there can be a list, a to-do list, and that's all that sort of is required in some ways, but at the same time, the reality is it is the great unknown. And so you can't know, so just relax. <laughs> so, so that's that's sort of been how I've been living, but now it's also like in the business. And that's just so freeing. Um, so that idea of not having to be locked in for a year of this or six months of this, it's just like, you know, a tiny course and a conversation and whatever, that organic, but, and it'll find its own pace and its own rhythm. And just to, to follow that as a flow. And so from here, there's, it's keep going because the tiny course is about 85%. But behind that has been the structure of the templates. And like Naomi says, the simplicity of the structure that can be followed when you've got the clarity of, all right, this is what it's going to be. But what's really just landed in the last day or so is, as a, as a metaphor of your seasonal planning, it, was, it felt like there was a something before that tiny course. And that's, I've got that clarity now of, uh, of that simpler course, not even like a simple, a simple, simple tiny course before the tiny course. And, and I think that's been required. I think that's why I'm only 85% done. So that's, that's great. And it just feels like the next thing is discoverability, come out more, be more public, sharing, talk, however that. Um, and with um, Honey's work on imagery, now it's like, I feel like the pictures and the making art, it's not just images. It's like there's writing and imagery all coming together. Mm. So it's been, it's been great in that way.